they, this is a great Irish side, we should acknowledge it, and one of the great Six Nations sides. And ultimately, there's only three sides since the concept of the Six Nations came to being in 2000 that have won Grand Slams and retained the title the next year. And Ireland are now one of them, this Irish team. It's very hard. Never been done back-to-back slams and it's very hard to retain a title when you're Grand Slam champions because everybody wants you. Everybody's out for you. You've got a big red mark on you. Everybody analyses your game more. England put in their best attacking performance in five years. Scotland put in their best defensive performance in three or four years. New Zealand the World Cup put in their best defensive performance in four years. We've got to remember that there are two teams on the pitch. At times we forget this. Yeah. We genuinely do. We forget there are two teams on the pitch. Andy Farrell's always saying that the opposition has something to do with this. And they do. Um, so then at the end, I was delighted that there was a decent atmosphere that even though they dimmed the lights, it looked like at least 40,000 of the 50,000 crowd stayed for the trophy presentation. A lovely moment for Peter Armani to share it with Tyke Ferland after Tyke lost his dad this year. I mean, and 40,000, because there's nothing like winning a, a trophy in home soil. You remember, Joe, from 1985 to last year, which is what, 38 years, no Irish team ever won a title in Dublin. Mm. And now we've two in a row in Dublin, coronations in Dublin, going for the first ever hat-trick. There's never been three outright titles in a row, ever, in history. So this team now is in a position to maybe do it under Paul O'Connell or Simon Easterby, because Mr Farrell will be off on Lions he'll be having a watching brief. 